right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, oh, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Quiet, quiet. So much for a milk run. How did a bunch of convicts even do this? Looks like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the big guy hit him? <laughs> like a bug on a windshield. Splat. All because he made one stupid crack about the guy's suit. Freaking intense. Dude's got issues, man. Big ones. I heard that. Need to distract him. Hacking app should work. Getting paranoid. Got a few seconds. Should be able to hop that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Gauze? Iodine? No antibiotics. Need to keep looking. Both of Side. You two, get over here! All right, all right, all right. Keep an eye out for prison escapees. This could stop right now. Just give us the locations and schedules. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. I don't have that in Believe me, I hate watching Benson Whale. Why are the super dudes so set on taking out these relief centers? Something about Osborne. They want to show how weak he is, but they can't protect the city. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of drama. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find, I don't care. Yeah, man. This stuff will be worth a fortune on the black market. Come on. Let's keep digging through it. Sable guys give up the depot locations? Eventually, yeah. Now the Another guys supply tent. Oh, crossing fingers. A couple trauma kits. No antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Looks like they're gonna divvy up the supplies. Gotta avoid that sniper. Oh boy. Better not try to short us. Bro, relax. But you get the Dude, please don't embarrass me. Chill, please. Avoid that sniper. More supply. 
guys. Oh, come on, Crate, be the one. Moxicillin. Perfect. That is a very large one. the exploding bulldozer. Supply loops and schedule. Now! Yes, Kazal! Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is... inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <laughs> Not need to see that. What was that? Check it. Now. Don't think he saw me. Time to get out of here. I think I'll try another way. Let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! 
Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha, <laughs> kids got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? I'm not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You wanna taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. I'm gonna work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the safe. Jay, what's up? You okay? I'm fine. Combing through Oscorp records. Hey, this is random, but do you remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? To find the best pizza in the city? Yeah. Ten hour odyssey for burnt toast with cold American cheese. How could I forget? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. Just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. No jobs, no super villains. We could throw away a whole day looking for bad pizza just cuz. Now it feels like if we take a nap, the world will fall apart. Yeah, this adult thing is rough. But I guess the work we do means today's kids can have their own Staten Island adventures. In safety. Kind of a circle of life thing. Circle of bad pizza. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a good way to look at it. Thanks, Pete.
Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Ah! Rhino, we're through the team up. Thought you were a loner. Ah! <laughs> me and them. All of life is me and them. <laughs> for these particular means. Freedom! True freedom! No more future! No more rhino! Ah! I always like this suit! So distinct! Be thankful, folks! Without the youth, I make less trouble for you. So what about our stimulating Valentine chats? You are funny, Molly. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, Target, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. on the ground. Finds out you failed! I failed? Yes, you freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. 
I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Electro trying to destroy our power grid. The Vulture raining death from above. Spider-Man egging them both on in the very heart of our city, brawling like children. Lethal children, pitching a tantrum of death and destruction. I'm often asked, why do menaces like this end up with awesome powers? Why not someone like you, Jonah? <laughs> Well, I have considered trying to use advanced science to give me powers, only so I could protect you in a more hands-on way, of course. But after much reflection, I've decided against it. Because power corrupts. I'm a man of the people, and I want to stay one of the hard-working, ordinary people of New York. So I'll just help via my talk show, my publishing empire, and my vast personal fortune. No need to thank me. It's what a man of the people does.